Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullmoon Adventure Club and today we were going to be doing a review for the Sawyer Bite and Sting Kit. It's a little suction cup removal tool, but uh, I did a lot of research on this like I will before I do anything that I'm going to review. We've had this for a long time and inside you just have some bandages and some alcohol swabs, a little booklet for how to treat stings and stuff. And then you have, you know, a little razor blade so you can cut, uh, you know, shave the hair if you need to use uh, the extractor, which comes with little suction cups. And you put those on, pull it up, put it against your skin. When you suck it down, it creates a powerful suction on your hand that's supposed to uh, suction out the venom. Um, but after doing a lot of research through a lot of different avenues, because I'm going to research anything that I'm going to, you know, promote to you guys, we've never had to use it, so... I used to think this was a good thing to have in the way to go, but as it turns out, um, absolutely not a good idea to use one of these for a venomous snake bite. Um, they did a lot of research on this as far as uh, uh, using it on pigs and also some human volunteers where they inject, injected a dye and then used a suction cup to try and remove that, simulating you know a venom injection. It removed maybe one to 2% of the venom, if any. It's really hard to get stuff out of deep tissue. It's not gonna just pull it all out and you're gonna be good to go. And so they really don't work for that. As far as bee stings, wasp stings, maybe. I haven't used them for that either. But I thought it was worth noting that if you get bitten by a poisonous snake while you're out and about on one of your RV adventures, while you're hiking, while you're camping, anything like that, what should you really do based off today's knowledge and today's medicine? Because the old suction method is just completely outdated and you see it in the movies all the time where they get bit and they're like, I'll oh, suck out the venom and blah, blah, blah. None of that is a good idea at all, and it can do a lot more harm than good. So I'm, I just want to go over some real easy tips for you if you do get bit by a snake, and maybe it'll kind of stick in your head. And if it happens to you, you'll be okay. So basically what everybody recommends, and this goes from the emergency room uh, that, I did, that I contacted, did a lot of research with, and also uh, herpetologists, which are zoologists that specialize in reptiles, what they recommend for venomous snake bites. And it's really, really simple, guys you need to get medical assistance. But there's some key little things here that I'm gonna give you tips on that might just help you out if you do get bit by a poisonous snake while you're out on the trail. And so it's really simple, just a few steps. And first is to just walk away from the snake. Obviously, you don't wanna keep getting bit. You don't run, never run, because a lot of times people get bit by snakes and they run, or they run back, or they run away from the snake, they fall and they hit their head on a rock and it does a lot more damage than good. So just calmly walk away from the snake 20 or 30 feet have a seat, sit down. You know why you have to sit down is because a lot of snake venoms will actually cause a uh, drop in blood pressure that cause a lot of people to faint and it can happen kind of fact, uh, fast as it interacts with your system. And so a lot of people will faint and fall into a cactus or fall on a rock and it hurts them even more. So you wanna have a seat once you've gotten away from the snake so you can kind of evaluate your situation a little bit. Just stay calm, totally calm. They're almost never fatal if you can just get to a hospital. So. You moved away from the snake, you had a seat. Now what you really need to do is go ahead and call 911 if you have your cell phone to, to get medical help. That's the number one thing you need to do is get to a hospital that has antivenom. So if you have your phone, you call 911, they say don't move, we're coming to you, then you're good to go. You wait there calmly until they get there and help you out. Now immediately remove all of your rings, jewelry, and tight clothing. Take them all off. Your wedding ring, I don't care what it is, take it off. Your, even if you're bitten in the foot or on the toe, you take it off of your hand. Take off all your rings and jewelry because your, your stuff's going to swell. And a lot of times people will lose fingers because they can't get off rings and stuff like that because they, you swell up from the venom. So take off really tight articles of clothing and rings and jewelry and uh, bracelets, all that stuff, get it off. You'll be glad that you did. And uh, once you do that, you just you just want to get help. Um, if you can't get 911 on your cell phone, don't be scared to walk to, to back to where you had cell service or back to your car. You can walk miles back to your car and still survive just fine. Don't be scared about the circulating the venom and all that. Just calmly get out and get help. You don't want to just wait there if help's not on the way because time is just kind of the enemy. So stay calm. Walk ahead. If there's multiple people in your group, you can send somebody that's moving faster ahead to uh, make the call for you while you guys are in transit. But uh, just calmly get help. Make sure that you're going to have somebody calling or whatever. If you have to get back to your car and actually drive to the hospital, be careful because, you know, 
uh, they can cause adverse effects that may make you faint or make it hard to drive. But that's it guys, it's really simple, but, but the whole snake bite extractor thing doesn't work at all and this is outdated information and I didn't know that. And uh, now I'm telling you. So I'm hoping that that kind of helps you out a little bit. You just wanna move away from the snake and uh, calmly sit down, take off all of your rings and jewelry, call 911. And if, if they are gonna fly in and get you or uh, they're coming to get you, uh, you know, to put you in the ambulance, while you're sitting there waiting, if you have a magic marker, um, it's not a bad idea to circle a large area around where you were bitten. And uh, they also recommend that you write down anything that you're feeling, if your leg's going numb or anything like that. You can take that time to try and remember what the snake looked like and just calmly wait for rescue. But if not, just get out of there and get to the hospital. Get the antivenom. It's the only real thing that's been proven to work. Not extraction. Not, uh, no tourniquets, don't do that because that a lot of people put on a tight tourniquet and they end up losing their leg <laughs> or their arm or whatever is bitten. Uh, you don't wanna do that. Slowing down the flow of the venom is just not practiced anymore. Uh, you really just need to calmly get medical ass assistance and go to the hospital, get the antivenom. So I hope that helps you out. I don't wanna ramble on too much about it, but I'm not gonna be doing a review for this because they don't work for snake bites. Maybe they work for stings and stuff, but not snake bites. So don't use these. If you have one, don't rely on it. And uh, hopefully that'll help save you if you're un unlucky enough to get bitten by a snake. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club. If this video helped you out or you liked it at all, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I really appreciate all of that. So until the next video, thanks so much for watching and happy camping.